everyone, it's Leah. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm wearing this really bright orange sweater and I love it. It's so comfy, the sleeves are bulky and chunky and I just don't want to admit that winter is over. For today's video, I thought I would talk to you guys about healing stones and crystals and different things like that because I'm trying to get into that, I'm trying to do more research about it, watching videos, different things like that. So I thought I would show you guys the ones that I have. I keep most of my stones that I have right there on that shelf by my salt lamp, but I do have a little baggie um, where I can like choose which stones I want to bring with me that day or if I want to bring all of them, if I want to bring one of them. I keep it in my purse. So I just have like a plain beginner set because like I said, I don't know that much about them yet. I'm still trying to do research. I'm still trying to like see if the ones from packages like in stores even work because I don't, I don't know. But I just thought it'd be cool to like buy a little set. So when I was in Dallas a week ago, I think, I bought this little set of healing stones. It looks like this. This is the back. These are all the ones that it comes with. Um, and then you just like open it like a little book and here are all the stones, yay. So I'm just gonna go through each one and tell you guys what they're supposed to do, what they mean, different things like that. So the first one I have in my set is called Amethyst. It looks like this. This is a really popular one, really basic one. Everyone knows about it. It's a really pretty purpley color. Um, but basically this stone is supposed to promote peace and get rid of all of your negative energy. So this is one that I definitely wanna keep with me at all times, just so I just have some positive vibes going on all the time. The next one I have is called Aventurine. I think I'm saying that right. It looks like this. It's like a green little stone. It's really cute, you can see. This stone is supposed to bring you good luck with just general things and also good luck money-wise, financially. Um, and it also gets rid of sad emotions, kind of like the amethyst does. It gets rid of negative energy, sad energy, different things like that. Sodalite is this bluish stone. Um, it can be different colors I've seen on the internet, but mine is just a blue with some different variations in it. This stone is supposed to be good for creativity and deep thinking. Uh, this is one of my favorites for sure because I'm doing a lot of creative things in 2018 along with my YouTube, my blog, different things like that. So it's nice to have something that I can hold that will bring me creative energy. Now I don't know if I'm gonna be saying this right, but this is called a gate, Ad agate, I don't really know. But it's this really, really pretty like green minty color. Um, this one actually looks completely different than what it does on the box, but I did Google it and it can be this color. This one just increases your energy level and it says on the box that it relieves fatigue. So basically it just improves your mood, gives you some positive vibes. The most well-known stone or crystal you can have out there is the crystal quartz. This is just the most basic one. Everyone should know about this one. This one I've read can be good for manifesting anything. Like it doesn't have a specific purpose. You can just use it for anything you wanna do. Um, but basically this is good for meditation and manifesting different energies, different things that you'd like to have in your life. And it can also help with diseases because Stones can be used to heal. Um, I haven't read too much about it, but this is a healing stone kit, and so this one can get rid of diseases, apparently. One of my absolute favorites in this set is the Rose Quartz. It kind of looks like the Crystal Quartz, um, although it has a pink undertone, and it's white and pink. This one is good for manifesting. <laughs> when I was reading about all of these, the love and comp, oh my God. When I was reading about these last night, um, this one had a really cool description of like bringing love and confidence and I thought that was really cool because I'm a big believer in confidence attracts love. Um, I'm very attracted to confidence and I feel like it's gonna be hard to love someone if you're not confident in yourself. So this is really cool that this stone brings both of those aspects because I feel like they go hand in hand. The next one is called Tiger Eye and I think this is really, really cool looking kind of clear and then it has brown on the other side. Tiger Eye, it says on the box, it's really good for traveling and brings energy. So maybe this is just like a little basic one. I'll have to do uh, more reading into Tiger's Eye because I'm not really sure what it all does. But if you know, you should leave in the comments. Obsidian is one of the cooler ones because it's like all black and it's kind of like dark and mysterious looking. Um, but this is really supposed to bring protection to you which is super cool because I would love some protection. That sounded really weird. 
But anyways, it's also supposed to bring you balance and good fortune, which is something I definitely need, so uh, <laughs> this is a good one. This stone is called orange calcite. It's orange and yellowish. What can you expect from the name, you know? Um, but this one balances your emotions and removes fear, so this is one that I like to keep with me because it just... I feel like it'll just keep me balanced, you know? I won't be all psycho and moody and it's a good one. This one is my absolute favorite and I know I'm not gonna pronounce this name right. Just saying. It's called Unakite, I think. It looks like this, it's very pretty. It's green and it also has some like pinkish red, like a clay color on the bottom. Um, but this is my absolute favorite out of the whole set because it promotes self-awareness and self-love. And you guys already know that I love love <laughs> and loving yourself and being aware of yourself and so this one is essential for me to carry with me at all times because it is the journey that I'm going on. <laughs> the next one is really cool looking. It looks like this. It's called Dalmatian Jasper um, and it, for obvious reasons it looks like Dalmatian. <laughs> Uh, this one is all about family, and so it strengthens your family ties, your family unity, um, and it encourages strength and balance within your family relationships, which is really good because everyone needs that in their lives, you know? And the last one I have is called Hematite. It looks like this, sort of like obsidian, except maybe a little like charcoal-ish. Uh, this one's not as shiny as the obsidian, um, but this promotes courage and strength, which is really good. Um, I feel like this is essential to carry as a set because it probably, I don't know, I feel like a lot of them have to do with, um, you know, having courage and removing fear and removing negative energy, so I feel like this kind of like heightens it in a way. Correct me if I'm wrong. And that is my whole set. Um, I'm very excited to start learning about more. I wanna buy like the huge crystals, you know what I mean? Like the ones you see on Pinterest and different things like that, just so I can like place them around my room uh, and that would just be great because I need that balanced energy in my life, you know what I mean? And there are a lot of people out there who believe that stones and crystals and different things like, the, like this don't work. Um, and I think they do. But the way I think they work is Okay, so I'm a big believer in manifesting energy, like speak it, <laughs> like speaking it into existence, essentially. Um, I believe that the energy you put out into the world, the world is gonna give you back, like the universe is gonna return your favor. Um, and so I believe that stones are just like a physical representation. No, I don't believe that this stone has magical powers and is just gonna like light up and change my life but this is just something physical and tangible that I can hold and feel and it is a physical representation of the energy that I want to release into the world, if that makes sense. So that's the way I like to view stones and crystals and different things like that. You could view it differently, it's fine. <laughs> but yeah, like I said, I'm very excited to uh, research them more and learn more and purchase more and different things like that. <laughs> I just think they're really cool. They're a really nice accessory to have on a journey of finding yourself and balancing your emotions and different things like that because like I said they are a physical representation of the energy you're putting out into the universe and so I love that I love that so much uh, and I'm really excited about them so if you want me to do more videos about them if I buy any more I can do that for you um, just leave a thumbs up or a comment whatever you want if you have any other stones or crystals that you think I would enjoy or you think that are important please leave them in the comments below because I'd love to um, buy more <laughs> just fill up my whole space with them if you did like this video please give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel I upload every Monday and every Wednesday and turn on the notification bell so that you get notified every time I upload a video so you don't forget I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you guys on Wednesday bye